Okay, so we are going to make anime highlights through manipulating geometry in Blender. However, before we begin, I want to give a huge thanks to those who joined my first ever anime course. You guys are awesome, and if you have any critique on the course or requests, don't be afraid to mention them on the Discord. And I also would like to recommend anyone interested in anime texture theory to check out the CompuMonk channel. His videos are structured and delivered way more precisely and clearly than mine, so I'd highly recommend it. Alright, let's begin. Today we are going to speak about highlights. We have our scene here, and it needs some finishing touches for it to look good. So we have to edit the mesh of this hard edged model. Press Alt to select the looping edge of this traffic light, and press Ctrl B to bevel it. But don't do it too much, you want it nice and small, or thin. Sometimes with this method you'd need to just tilt the bottom loop a bit forward, for the highlight to appear and for it to be a bit more separate from the face under it. Now bring in an area light and size it to how big you want the highlight to be and lower the brightness so it doesn't affect the environment too much. And there we go. All you need to do now is move the light uh, up and down, left or right, whatever, uh, until the highlight appears on the bevel. So what this does is the bevel edge now catches the light and since it's so small, it doesn't influence the rest of the model. An easier method with less flexibility is to bevel the edge loop of a model, then make that edge loop super thin before applying a shader that is just an emission node. So as you can see on this traffic light, all I did was I beveled it and I applied an emission texture on these faces. Now you got yourself a highlight. What you could also do since we have the beveled edges, we can just select the beveled edges, assign a new material to it, but use the same material as the object. The only difference is we will have to raise the value on a UN saturation node in front of the nodes, and so that it becomes brighter. So it looks like we have highlights on the edges of our mesh. So, now we've learned how to make highlights through manipulating the geometry of meshes. Hope you guys benefited and hope you learned something. See you in the next one. Alright, bye.